In this video, we'll share the top 14 things to do in Victoria. At number one, we have East Sook Park. East Sook Park offers a blend of rugged coastline, incredible walking and hiking trails, lush fields, an old growth forest, and picturesque beaches. Some of the beaches even boast impressive white sand and clear blue waters, reminiscent of tropical paradises. At number two, we have Parliament Building and the Inner Harbor. The Inner Harbor of Victoria stands as one of the city's highlights. It's a bustling hub with whale-watching tours, seaplanes, and boats constantly on the move. Overlooking this harbor is the Parliament Building, an architectural marvel. The expansive green lawns leading to the water provide a serene spot for relaxation, especially on sunny days. At number three, we have Mystic Beach. Mystic Beach, located along the shores of the Juan de Fuca Strait, is among the most scenic beaches on Vancouver Island. A trail through a dense forest leads to this secluded beach, which is adorned with tall trees lining the shoreline. A unique feature of this beach is a small waterfall cascading from the cliffs above, merging with the sea below. At number four, we have Fisherman's Wharf. Fisherman's Wharf is a vibrant floating community in Victoria. Comprising uniquely designed and decorated floating homes and restaurants, it offers a visual treat with a riot of colors. Most of these homes are inhabited year-round, and it's common to see residents enjoying the sun on their porches. Occasionally, local seals might also make an appearance, swimming close to the wharf. At number five, we have Beacon Hill Park. A stone's throw away from the inner harbor is Beacon Hill Park. This vast green space offers a respite from city life with its beautiful gardens, sports facilities, and open spaces. It also boasts the distinction of housing what was once the world's tallest totem pole. At number six, we have Explore Chinatown and Fantan Alley. Victoria's Chinatown, the oldest in Canada, is a blend of rich history, delectable cuisine, and unique architecture. Nestled within Chinatown is Fantan Alley, one of Canada's narrowest streets. This red-bricked alley is not only visually appealing, but also houses boutique shops that offer a variety of unique products. At number seven, we have Butchert Gardens. A short drive from Victoria City Center lies the renowned Butchert Gardens. Spread across 55 acres, these gardens showcase a staggering variety of plants, with millions of bedding plants in over 900 varieties. The gardens are a riot of colors and fragrances, making them a treat for the senses. At number eight, we have whale watching Victoria's coastal waters are a haven for various species of whales, including the elusive killer whales, gray whales, and humpbacks. Embarking on a whale-watching tour provides a unique opportunity to witness these majestic creatures in their natural habitat, making it an unforgettable experience. At number nine, we have Goldstream Provincial Park situated on the city's outskirts. Goldstream Provincial Park is a nature lover's paradise. It offers camping facilities and numerous trails, with the Goldstream Trestle being a notable attraction. This old wooden bridge offers panoramic views of the surrounding landscapes. At number 10, we have Visit Craft Breweries Victoria takes pride in its craft breweries, with many located close to the city center. These breweries offer a plethora of unique brews, with Phillips Brewing being a local favorite. The tasting rooms provide an insight into the brewing process and offer a chance to sample the varied flavors. At number 11, we have High Tea at the Empress. The Fairmont Empress, an iconic structure in Victoria's inner harbor, is renowned for its traditional high tea experience. This luxurious affair has become synonymous with a visit to Victoria and offers a taste of the city's colonial past. At number 12, we have Hike Mount Douglas. Mount Douglas offers breathtaking 360-degree views of Victoria and its surrounding landscapes. A short hike leads to the summit, from where one can enjoy panoramic vistas of the city, the sea, and distant landscapes. At number 13, we have Willows Beach. Willows Beach in Oak Bay is a serene spot perfect for relaxation. With its calm waters and sandy shores, it's an ideal place for a swim. However, even during the summer, the waters can be quite chilly, so visitors should be prepared. At number 14, we have Enjoy the Local Cuisine. Victoria boasts a diverse culinary scene, from the fish tacos of Redfish Bluefish to the sumptuous brunch offerings of Jam Cafe, there's something to satiate every palate. The city's eateries offer a blend of local flavors and international cuisines, ensuring a delightful gastronomic experience. So that sums up my top 14 things to do in Victoria. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video 
And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.